So guys, in today's video, we are going to be discussing the only thing you need to do in order to make your personal brand worth $100,000 in 2018. So guys, I'm sure you're wondering what is this special one thing, secret trick thing. It's not a secret. It's not a trick. It's just a concept. It's something that I think you should be abiding by and following in your life, no matter whether we're talking personal brand, relationships, business, and that's just truthfulness and honesty. Now, I think over the past 30, 40, 50, however many years, like people have tried the marketing model of like, let's just make this as big and as flashy as possible. And then I'm going to build this whole tribe based around that. And um, to this day, there are still people who like come out with super flashy videos and pe personal brands who that you see, the thing is like when you're building a YouTube personal brand or you're, you're building an online personal brand, like people act or try to act as though they're celebrities and everything has to be perfect. And, um, you know, one small slip up and their reputation is fucked. And like, I understand where you're coming from, but you need to understand building an online personal brand and then like an in-person personal, personal um, an in-person personal brand. They're like two completely different things. So don't worry about acting or feeling like your celebrity feeling as though every single thing you do has to be perfect. No, instead be honest, be truthful because that makes you relatable. Now with my own personal brand, it's really cool. Like it's unfortunate because I use the story of like, I literally went from like broke to where I am now in the space of a year. And unfortunately that story is overused a lot, a lot. I'm, I'm sure you guys know. Um, but I guess the cool thing is like, I have documentation. I have footage to back that up. Like I'll, I'll, I'll put up a couple clips in between like me speaking where like, I'm just in a really shit place. I'm very prepared for the week ahead. Something, something to think about. Um, but guys, as always, ups the downs. Here on YouTube, it's really easy. Whether you have one subscriber or a million, right? You just see me either in a really shit place, and I, I actually decide to document it. Or like, you know, you just see me just not crushing it at life at all. And once again, I'm like documenting the whole thing. And the coolest thing is like people still watched, you know, like I, I know a lot of you guys out there, you're really, really concerned. Like, hey man, why, why would anyone watch me? And it's because like it takes balls, right? Like it, it takes a lot of, of just finding it within yourself to be completely honest as to where you are in the journey. Like, and then being honest later on, like I, I know, like, for example, when I, I think I put out in August or August or September, like uh, struggling with complacency. And like, I talk about like, yeah, it was August. Like I lost 50% of my total revenue from my marketing agency, right? Some of them were simply because August is like a terrible time for business. So I didn't sign any new clients. Uh, and then I lost a shit ton of clients, you know, some were out of my hands and then some literally I just got complacent. Right. So it, it really, it, it really scared me to put out that video. Cause I go, how is anyone going to listen to me when I've just lost 50% of my total revenue from my marketing agency. Right. Um, and luckily since then, like things have just blown up. Um, you know, it takes a lot of honesty to put that on the line, but it, it builds trust. It builds rapport with your audience. Now I've been like for pretty much a year or for pretty much, yeah, around a year, I documented me just fucking like not crushing life at all. And I documented that. It's pretty funny. And you can actually go watch, like look back and watch the videos and, you know, people stuck around and they stuck with me. And now one thing that I wish I had known is affiliate marketing. And that's, that's kind of what we go over in influencer ignited because look, as you keep growing on your journey, there will be a stage where you go from like the student to the expert that's happened with me. And you know, I've got all the, I've got these digital products, these high level mentorship programs, these, um, uh, coaching calls. Like I've, I have this whole value ladder where I am a full-time business. Like a, I'm a very profitable full-time business. I guarantee you that. Um, and that is my personal brand, but it's taken me time to get there. What I wish I had known leading up to it was how to do stuff like affiliate marketing. Because as I said, if you have trust, if you're honest with your audience, then like, you know, you go, guys, I'm trying out this new um, program in the gym. You know, I'm using the Kino body program. And once again, they are more than happy to use your affiliate link and you get an like Kino body offers. If you guys don't know who that is, Grego Gallagher, Grego Gallagher, Kino body. He's like probably one of the biggest brands in fitness. Um, 
he offers a uh, 50% or 75% front end. So you get 75% of the digital product and then 50% off of the back end because once again, like he has this whole back end value ladder. So my point is you can make a shit ton of money and you don't, you, don't you, you just have to be honest. You just have to say, guys, I'm at this stage in my journey. You know, even like I was with, um, I was on a, um, an interview with one of my affiliates last night. We're coming out with an interview really soon. He's not at the stage where like he feels as though he's an expert. Um, but I, you know, I'm very comfortable selling myself as an expert within certain things. So he jumped on an interview with me. He's an affiliate for my course. And like, he's going to make shit like a lot of money, like a lot, a lot of money by just being honest, staying truthful to his journey and then going, guys, this is the person that I actually learned it from, or guys, this is the person that I trust. So with all of you guys out there, like just focus. The only thing you need in my opinion is honesty, just honesty and truthfulness and look like it's so hard. Like it's so, so hard to put yourself on the line and be a hundred percent raw and a hundred percent real and be honest. Like, as I said, for me, like, you know, it's easy for me to say now, like, yeah, back then I was just like, I was, things were fucking terrible because things aren't terrible now. Right. But for me, like the hardest stuff was like, in like June, July, August, September, like when things were good and I had expectations of me and then, you know, things didn't go as well, right? Or I failed or I made this huge fuck up. And like, that was when it got harder to be honest with my audience uh, because there were certain expectations of me. But the beautiful thing is it just built more trust and like, it just built more trust, which led to more uh, affiliate sales, which led to more course sales, which led to more uh, mentorship programs, coaching programs, whatever it may be. like. For those of you guys out there who are just like scratching your head as to like, can I build a personal brand? Can I do this? Yes, you can. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so easy. All you do is you just document, you document your journey and you just stay hundred percent honest because every other person out there is going to go, guys, I'm crushing it. I'm doing this. So I have my, like these businesses and this businesses. And like, I have my business partner out in Dubai and stuff. And you're just like, no guys, like I'm, I'm at this stage, you know, in the same way that, you know, I picked up the fucking camera and I go, guys, like, I just got my, like, I just did a video shoot for 200 pounds and like, I'm feeling really proud right now. Like, you know, it's, it's nothing, it, it, it's, it's pennies, but you know, I'm feeling proud right now. Or like guys today, I just had a really shit day, you know, like I, I can't figure out this whole entrepreneurship thing. Everyone thinks I'm fucking crazy, but I'm going to keep pushing forward. And that's, that's what I did. And I think that's why a lot of people have a lot, a lot of people, the one feedback that I keep getting from everyone is like, if there's one person that I trust, it's Iman. And the reason is because like, I've never held anything back. Um, so, you know, you can build a personal brand off of that and you can build a business off of that because, you know, once again, like in my course and with all my students, I teach people, look, either you're going to sell your own expertise and build your own like monetization streams, or, you know, you're going to leverage that trust that leverage that attention and just make a shit ton of money off of affiliate marketing. Look, if you want to get to a hundred thousand dollars a month, you're, you're going to have to start releasing some digital products yourself. Like it, it, affiliate marketing is too hard to do that, but to reach 10, 20, $30,000 a month from affiliate marketing, very, very possible. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I haven't done it myself because I would focus more on the digital product side of things, but like $10,000 a month in affiliate marketing. Hell yeah. Like it's not hard. All you have to do is just be honest, keep your integrity, stay truthful. Um, and yeah, as I said, just, just document the journey and don't think that, don't think that building a personal brand is similar to being a celebrity, building a celebrity personal brand. No, people like your weird intricacies. You know, people like the fact that I'm, I'm kind of weird. I just, when I'm alone, I just spin fidget spinners and sing to myself and I'm super energetic and whatnot. Like th that's a weird quirky side of me that I like to show. Um, one of my friends, Mo actually, uh, he was on the phone with me the other day. And I think in one of my videos, I, I said something about like, I think a red, um, a subreddits are for like pedophiles who jerk off like violently. He's like, you show more of that crass side of you. Cause I know you're like pretty absurd in that sense. So like, I'll try to do more of that. Like the point is when building your personal brand, that's really, that's really all you have to do. So first it starts off by, look, I'm going to let go. I'm going to be myself. That means your documentation is awesome. People love you. People love the content you're posting because it's not the fucking like fake BS that everyone else is doing. Uh, trying to like just fabricate success um, or, or where they're at in their journey. They're just honest and that honesty leads to trust and attention and then trust and attention can either be leveraged into either selling themselves as a brand and selling directly or 
selling someone else's services and, and products. And that's, that's super easy to do. And once again, it's not even selling because people are just curious. Like I just get, I get people hitting me up all the time. Like, Iman, I know you use click funnels. I know you use, um, like, I know you use click funnels. I know you use get response. I know you, I know you use teachable sprout social. Do you have a link? Can you give me one? Because like I've put out so much free value at this point that like people want to help me. And uh, I, I think that's really awesome. And I fucking appreciate you guys for it. Um, so guys, that's, that's sort of just like my introductory thing as to like how you start building a personal brand. Um, so I know it's been a lot to, it's been a lot to digest. Um, I'm still going to be c carrying on with uh, daily YouTube videos. I'm actually going to be, as you can see, I ordered a blue Yeti and just kind of pimped out my setup a little bit more before I move in January. Um, I'm going to be doing YouTube lives a lot more. So if you're subscribed, go ahead and click that bell because that means you'll get notified when I'm actually jumping on a YouTube live. So th those are going to be 30, 40 minute videos based around one topic and you're actually going to get a Q and a, you know, like it's almost like a free consultation. So go ahead and click that bell. Last piece of news. And it's super exciting. Influencer Ignite just fucking crushed it. Like I'm, I'm super, super happy with how it went. Uh, as most of you guys know, I'm going to be closing it for a month. I'm not going to be promoting it, promoting the links for a month until the full like launch of it. Uh, once again, I'm, I've been setting up like webinars and stuff like that, talking to my Facebook ads coach. So uh, it's $997, which means that is a huge discount. I think that's like a quarter off of the price or something like that. So I'm going to be keeping it open for 24 more hours. So if you came into this video thinking, you know, influencer Ignite looks pretty cool. I might pick it up. Maybe, maybe not. Or you, you were wondering like, do I like, how do I actually build a personal brand? Why would anyone listen to me? Hopefully here's some insight for you. And um, as I said, the link is in the description. It is now $997. I'm going to uh, keep it open for another 24 to 48 hours. And then for the next month, I'm not promoting it until the big, big launch with all the paid traffic, with all the webinars, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm probably going to double the price. <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you tomorrow. See you.